The world of Middle-earth is changing. The beauty of the elves fades. It passes into legend, into myth, into dreams. The ancient spirits of earth, fire, air and water who once roamed this earth freely are forgotten. But it was not always so. In a region long ago, the elves were given secret knowledge to forge great rings of power. They were precious beyond all else, for within each was bound the strength and will to rule. But they were deceived, for the giver of this knowledge was evil's great servant, Sauron. In the fires of Mordor, he forged in secret one ring to rule them all. And with it, Sauron enslaved the races of Middle-earth. But not all light diminished, for some stood fast. Sauron's hand. Isildur, ruler of all free men, performed this deed. But he became weak line of men fail. The ring escaped him as history became legend. Legend became myth. And things that should not have been forgotten were lost. Third Age of Middle-earth began, but the realms of man divided and their great cities weakened. And in this age the evil powers again arise, yet some hoped for unity in the face of the coming darkness. To Rivendell, the elves called the greatest of all races. With them came Boromir, son of Gondor's steward. And there, at the Council of Elves, a great and desperate plan was conceived. Join us in our quest. Face the power of Mordor. And help to turn the tide. Welcome, warrior of Gondor. Your road here will not be an easy one. Much will be risked in the war that is to come. But you will justify my trust. This I sense with all my heart.
Stand aside, creature. You are in my way. Return to the shadow, slave of Sauron. What grace has been given to me, let it pass to him, let him be spared. To you I bestow this gift of my people. It braces the soul and binds the hearts of others. I live because of your bravery, my lady. What favor might I grant you? There is no time. Hurry, we must find your equipment and heal your wounds.